welcome to this episode of The Gunman. This is our fourth video on this Lamborghini Mercia Lago front bumper and side skirt. We're painting it in a three stage pearl. Uh, the color name is California Orange and the color code is 0058. I'll be using Standox Solver Base Base Coat on this job and Crystal Clear Pro. And I decided I'll actually leave the uh, the next video will be the clear coat and I broke them up to um, just to an hour that enable us to include more footage and more little uh, bits and pieces that you can um, you can see exactly how I'm doing the job because I, um, I took loads and loads of footage on this because like, I thought being a Lamborghini, Mercy Lago, it's sort of a car of interest lots of people would like to see and um, yeah I took lots of footage so uh, what we're doing here is wiping the whole uh, panel down with a wax and grease removing uh, solvent uh, with these uh, these wipes that I use I've got a Devolbus brand wipe um, there's diff loads of different brands but I found these ones are pretty good because um, they don't leave uh, any dust behind which uh, if you use some of the other rags they leave like, a little bit of dust on the panel so I'm doing here and for the for the start here I've just sped it up to uh, twice speed and uh, once I start painting we'll just slow it back down to single speed so uh, it's a three layer pearl this color so we've actually got to paint it uh, paint the whole car white first or paint the panels white first and then um, we go over the top of that with the, the pearl color coat so it's it's not not this <coughs> So it's not it's not the same as the um, the whites that you sometimes see, which are quite common. The white the white three layer pearls are totally different. They um so you you use your ground coat as a white, and then you uh, mix basically just mixing clear with a little bit of um, uh, pearl, and you, you're not really using that uh, pearl color for any coverage. It's just for the effect. Whereas this, you actually do probably get about 70% coverage on the orange so you're, you are still although you are still seeing through to the white underneath so here we go this is just the um the wax and grease removing step uh just what making sure we wipe it off correctly and next up i'm just checking that i've got it masked up in a correct position so that i can um so i can get all around it so that because if it's up the other way then I've got a, a little spot that you'll see when I start painting that I actually can't uh, wouldn't be able to get if I had it le leaning up the other way so I just decided to put these little bits of tape there and then have it sitting up on top sitting over the edge of that so I can get right up underneath it so tape it down so it's not going to fall off when I'm spraying it so I'm using Devilbus GDI Pros, uh, both guns on this. Sorry, actually, I'll be using three GTI Pros. We've got the uh, blending clear there as well. Uh, one of them has the T2 air cap on it, which is the blending clear, and both the other ones have the uh, HBLP. <coughs> And all of my guns have uh, 1.3 mil fluid needles on them. Uh, the, the tech guy from Developers Australia, I was talking to him about fluid tips and needles and just about guns in general. And he said most of the places in Australia, they just buy the 1.3 mil tips. Whereas um, Queensland, when there's high humidity, he said that they sell a lot more of the 1.4s. So they need to get a bit more paint on for some reason in the humidity. So here we're just using a nice clean, fresh tack rag. Uh, that's that blue rag in my hand while I'm blowing the air off at the same time to get rid of any of the last bits of dust. This is the, the last chance to get rid of it, unless you want to sand them out. If you, if you get a couple of little bits of dust in, you can sand them out. That's using solvent base, although I've heard some people say that when you're using water base you're not able to um, sand any of the imperfections out once you put the base coat on. That's it. Go back over, whack our respirator on. Here we go with our first 
first coat of base coat, this is the white. So if you want to see the colour matching itself done, well then I've got the other video, I've got that video uploaded already, I've got the prep work and I've also got the primer work done. After that, the next couple of videos I've got, I've got the clear coat, I'll be editing that one next and then after that we've got the polishing. I don't usually break a video up into this many this many parts, but just for this one, just because um, I've got uh, lots and lots of footage, I've got many hours of footage, a few hours, which ended up being edited down to something a lot smaller, but so that, that's the, that edge that I had to get into, and if it was sitting up the other way, I wouldn't be able to, so. Just doing my best just to cover up the primed areas and uh, there was a few spots that if you saw the prep work video on this uh, well then around where that number plate goes there's a few spots where I um, fix a few stone chips on this front bumper bar so I'm making sure I cover them up with this white as well I've got the boost up nice and high there's a little spot there that I had to fix in fact as well, so that's why I'm putting a touch over there too. Being just careful, I don't want to come up too high with this colour because uh, I am still blending the colour. Uh, most of the time on bumper bars, I try to... Uh, I don't like blending them, and you'll notice that if you start watching a few of my other vids. Most of the time I'll actually put colour over the full bumper bar, but being that this is a three-stage pearl, a three-layer pearl, um, it's extremely difficult to get the exact colour match if you don't blend them. Uh, and even from factory, I'm pretty sure these cars are actually painted all bolted up. I think they paint the edges first, and then they bolt the cars up, and they, they paint it all as one, because you can't get the effect otherwise. They're obviously all hand painted, these cars too. So this is going to be our, our last coat of white, two coats gives me coverage, so I'm using the high pigment white, which is basically just straight white out of the can uh, in the standox, the, they gave me 870, they actually gave me sorry 570 in the formula, but I decided to use 870 because it was just the, the high pigment white instead of the, the other one which they gave me was... Uh, Got to take an extra coat to cover. It's actually a pretty cool colour. I, I really like this one. I had a guy asking me, he's doing up a car, he was going to paint it green and a poison ivy green, which is another one that I did. And I said, Oh, I reckon this, this orange is better, mate. You know, I think you should do this, do it this colour. So 0058 was the colour code if you really like it, you can check it out. The, the name of the colour was actually Arianco, I'm pretty sure that's the correct pronunciation, but it would be Italian obviously, so Ari Arianco, California, which I'm pretty sure would uh, translate to California Orange. So what I'm doing here is there's just a few little spots up the, on that blend area where I've got a touch of the white overspray and I don't want it there because it's, it's going to um, make it so that I have to put the, the colour over the top of that and I don't want that, I just, just want to clear over that edge. So I'm just scuffing it off using one of the 800 grit sanding sponges there. I gave that uh, probably about five minutes in between doing this. It's something that I don't usually do, but um, it, it was necessary on this job. So then I'll come back over, grab the tack cloth again. Now I've got the orange in the gun. Now I've got some white in there again. Just blowing off that dust that I created from standing that back again. And next up, this is what I'm doing, will be to 
put the blending agent on blending clear just enables the orange to land in that uh, wet bed a bit nicer I just thought I'd leave a couple of bits like this in. It's the kind of stuff I usually edit out, but gives you a look at exactly what I do to get the, the job painted. And from the feedback I've been getting, it's what you guys want to see. So, yet again, you're more than welcome to leave uh, leave some feedback and comments and stuff like that. I'm always happy to answer questions. I'm doing my best to answer any other questions. our blending clear that we put down and next up we'll put our orange down which is going to require three coats on this you can see straight away that the first coat is totally see-through I've got a clip, quick clip of the car at the very end once it's all finished off and we gave it a good detail up it's actually the other painter they didn't trust the detailer so they, they actually grabbed the other painter to polish the whole car up. I polished only the these two panels and then they put them back on the car and then he polished the rest of the car, detailed it and it came up a million dollars, looks real nice. So hang around to check that out. Or skip forwards to the end if you get bored of watching me paint, it's up to you. There's also a couple of links at the very end if you um if you want to check them out there's the a couple of my popular vids and gun reviews, the uh, SATA RP and the W400. So, settings for this, this gun I'm using, as I was mentioning earlier, I'm using the HVLP air cap on this and I wind the fluid right out and set the pressure to about 25 psi approximately and um, have the fan wide open. Some of these spots inside here if, you, if, if you're struggling to get the, um, the paint in there probably you can uh, close the fan up a touch if you like but personally I, I find you can get most of them in there, most of the spots just while having it completely open. Uh, spray painting is one of those things that uh, will vary from person to person um, there's guidelines but there's no 100% wrong or 100% right because I, I might uh, get great results while using 25 PSI and the next guy comes in and says well, I need to use 29, 30 PSI right, but that's the problem there is guide. There's definitely guidelines, but um, uh, yeah, you, you um, you will find there is variations that you can go, and even the Vilbus, even the big spray gun companies, they don't, they don't actually give you um, specific pressures and settings that you must use with uh, when you're spraying because they don't supply the paint. They just supply the gun. It's it's more the um the actual paint manufacturer that you'll find if, if you are looking at settings and uh, pressures and all that kind of stuff uh, if you want if you want to get right into that kind of stuff you actually will find that it's the, the paint manufacturer that will supply those kind of details for you so it's our second coat you can see it's starting to um starting to cover up, it's starting to look a bit better. Didn't really have much room to blend up that bumper bar, but I was actually really happy with how it turned out in the end. A few, few moments I was a bit worried about how it was going to go and how my colour was going to blend out and that, but it turned out that it was real good. You just Sometimes, I, I guess, just uh, experience just gets you through at the end of the day, like uh, backing yourself in and just knowing that what you what you've done is right without second guessing yourself because 
um, yeah, had they have given a job like this to the apprentice, it's, you'd, you'd nearly say there's a 80% chance that it was going to be a mess up, but it just turned out real well. It even looks in, in the picture here, it doesn't really look like it's blending out so well at this point, but we wait till we get our, um, our last coat of base coat on and our clear coat on and it looks really good. So. Gave that a couple of minutes in between our last coat, so this last coat, it's not quite as wet. You probably notice it's going to go on a little bit quicker. More of an effect coat to get that pearl standing up. As I've mentioned in a couple of my other vids, that the idea with the pearls and the metallics is that the ingredient in a pearl is mica which is a mineral and um, that mineral has five sides to it it's like a piece of paper has two sides to it this mineral has five sides to it um, on a smaller scale and um, that's why it reflects the light in such different angles so you, you've got the pigment of the actual paint itself and then you've got the, um, the mica which will um, which will throw the eye into different, so that you're seeing on the different angles. So. That's just about bringing this one up to an end. Next one, as I mentioned earlier, will be the clear coat. I'm using my brand new spray gun on that one, which is the Devilbus GTI Pro Light, or for the Americans, is the same gun as the Tecna Pro Light, which should be only a 10 minute, 10 minute video on that one. So Here we go with the car when it's all finished off in the detailing bay nice I'm pretty happy with it hang around check out these vids if you haven't already seen them thanks again for watching and this has been another gunman production goodbye